It's 90 pounds. Más de 40 kilos. One more, one more. Hands are burning. Hands are burning. All right. All right, four of them. ¿Qué tal este es Guillermo Sepúlveda? De comer para sanar. Estamos con Mike Blasati, quien no solo ha recuperado su salud, sino que también ha incrementado su nutrición para el ejercicio y el deporte. Y bueno, ha mejorado bastante en no mucho tiempo, en relativamente poco tiempo de haber empezado una dieta basada en fruta. The first thing I did was I uh, got milk out of my diet and that was one of the best things I've ever done. I got rid of some migraines, uh, stomach aches, and then uh, when I was about in my early 20s I started getting into vegetarianism. Um, I was doing it primarily because I had a lot of sinus issues and I went for three sinus surgeries where they were removing polyps out of my nose. And uh, I went through three of them, started doing like a starch based vegan diet a little bit after that. And then about my early, um, you know, about a couple years after that, I started doing like a uh, start, um, started doing a starch based vegan diet. And then I went to a fruit based diet. Uh, I read an article on vegstores.com and they said this diet was even better than the McDougal program. And I was like, oh, awesome. And so I started trying it out because, I, <clears throat> yeah, one of the pivotal moments that the reason why I started was that uh, they're going to do another sinus surgery on me. Yeah, they did another, they did a, sur a surgery on me and they're like, you know, it didn't work. And they're like, well, you can sign up for another one. We don't know if it's going to work, but, you know, your, your sinus is a little inflamed. We don't know why. I'm like, well, I'm going to try out that, that raw diet. And, I didn't know how to do it, and it was luckily the 80-10-10 came into play because they, the only books I saw in Raw Vegan was like how to de dehydrate nuts, you know, nuts and seeds and make kind of breads out of them for 18 hours at a time. And I was like, I can't do this. You know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna afford those nuts and seeds and everything? So 80-10-10, and I was like, well, that seems really easy. It's just fruit. simplicity. Yeah, it's just fruit and fruit during the day and a big salad at night. And I was like, wow. That's really easy, a little bit of nuts and seeds every once in a while. You don't have to go crazy with the nuts and seeds. Yeah, I started getting better with everything. And then I was like, you know, how do I prove it to myself and everybody else? Because I was so concerned about protein. Protein, protein, protein. And I was like, I, I'll do some fitness stunts. So I got up to 100, 100 push-ups and I got to 150. Then I was starting to do sets of 500 in a day. You know, I was like doing sets of like 100. And I got up to 500 in a day. And I was like... And then I started getting into powerlifting, like bench press, and um, I started doing that, and I started getting into long distance running, and and then uh, a couple years after that, I started getting into deadlifts, and so it's only been two years on deadlifts, and I'm already doing close to like 500 pounds on it, and um, which is incredible. A lot of people say, oh, you could do it on a low protein diet, but it's going to take you a lot longer. Well, I'm. I'm beating these charts online on how fast you should be progressing. So it's moving up really good. And, you know, it's influencing a lot of people, which I'm really happy. I brought all these weights because I want people to know they can be exceptionally strong on this diet, especially on a fruit based diet. Because if we get at least a fruit based diet known that you can be strong on it, then the veganism, say, some people can't do the whole fruit diet, they don't have access to it. They could do starch, they could do potatoes and rice and things like that. So, if we can make it known that you can be strong on a fruit-based diet, then everything else should fall into place. You know, people are dying out there because they're so concerned about protein, and that's the only like, you know, marketing point with meat. this has got protein in it, and we don't need it. We don't need it. It's in the fruit. It's in the vegetables. You know, if you want to eat nuts and seeds too and starch, it's in there too. Please tell us about your average day, about your diet. Yeah. Your my, meals. My meals. Average day would be like for breakfast. I'll have maybe a half a watermelon for breakfast, maybe five, six pounds. Um, and then later on, I'll have maybe six to twelve bananas for for lunch. From six to twelve. Bananas. Six to twelve bananas. It depends what I'm doing. 
I don't usually count calories, but you know, I have a guide to mine to know how many, ca you know, how many, um, you know, how much food I should take in. And then for later on, after I get done with my workout, later on around like seven o'clock, I'll eat uh, about maybe a pound or two of grapes and a big salad, a big maybe a one to three pounds of salad. I, well, not every day, you know, I eat the three pounds, but you know, sometimes I get really hungry and I'll eat it. And then I'll throw a little bit of nuts and seeds and avocado as a condiment, as a dressing on the salad. And that's basically the whole day. And if I get really starved, um, say I can't get access to good fruit, you know, I'll eat the potatoes or the rice, you know, things like that. But very simple stuff, nothing fancy, no beans or anything like that. So I try to keep under 10% of my calories from protein. So. In order them to be enough, it's not like low yes. protein, it's not like, no. like, like high protein, exactly. it's like an enough protein diet. Yes. Just enough, that's what you want. Too much will cause you problems. It actually can drop your testosterone going beyond 10% of the protein. So you don't want to have low testosterone because that lowers your um, ability to gain strength and muscle. And coma frutas y levante peces.